you mentioned about injuries. You tore your bicep in 2017. Yeah. How, how'd that happen? So I forget which one it was. I tore both of them like within six months. Um, it was right bicep. So I tore one. Which one? Right bicep. Okay, that was fucking stupidity. Um, it wasn't, but so I've never had a good bench because benching is fucking stupid and useless. It's not very athletic. Yeah, um, when are you gonna be laying on your back? Well, I guess I mean someone's gonna put you try to yeah, put someone off. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not pushing anybody off of me like that. If like I'm using a bench press motion, something went wrong. Um, so uh, this is back when I was juice out of my mind. I I benched like 295 for 12, 13 times um, because I wanted to see. You know, I wanted to have a reasonable bench. The next day, I go down to the gym. I'm training. I show a basic guillotine defense, like a choke defense, where you hang your arm over somebody's collar, like shoulder, and just hang on. It prevents them from choking you, yada, yada. And I hear this fucking pop, this terrible fucking noise. I thought it was the guy I was doing it. I'm like, is your collarbone okay? I'm like, oh, fuck. That was me. So it, I tore as a, a pretty – not – a, a pretty substantial tear it didn't completely detach is that bicep pec tie-in um and you can see like the split right down the middle of my bicep when i stretch it and then it so recovered it was, like it was like where the bicep meets the pec like, yeah oh. yeah yeah right in like this little arm pair that's i can feel it feels amazing um and then like six months later i was in a competition and i tried to put a guy in a cradle which like that fucking du that double front bicep type thing with someone resisting and it popped the other side i was like motherfucker and that one was whoops because you're, like, you're probably having... compensating for the other side being weak most likely uh, I, I knew exactly what it was as soon as it happened like, motherfucker oh, chris lightington my buddy that bought i hate johnny buck.com he was there he goes you know you could have got that nurse's number a different way i was like fuck dude she was hot. Man. It may have been worth it. <laughs> you really wanted to go back. Did you ever get surgery to repair either of them? No, I didn't do either of them. They're, that's what my doctor told me. He was like, hey, so there's not much we can do. He goes, we can go in and cut it the rest of the way and then do surgery, or we can just try and see what happens and go from there. I'm like, yeah, that, that option sounds cheaper. I'll do that. So so you, you were able to rehab it mostly? Yeah, so the second time I tore my, my pec, I was like, hey, I'm going to take two weeks off. I'm not even going to go on the mat because that's stupid. And then that was on a Saturday, and on Monday I was rolling again because I'm stupid. But um, I just like I would just like, grab my collar basically and leave my arm there, and I started playing just playing different style of jiu-jitsu because I couldn't use my arms. It actually, honestly, it helped me a lot. It helped me use, um, you know, things I wasn't useful. You know, at that point, uh, I was really just like doing what I was comfortable with and not getting in those discomfort zones, things I wasn't comfortable with. And that really, I don't say it helped me a lot. So I guess it's like you can look at it two ways. You can look at it as either like, you know, a roadblock or you can look at it as an opportunity to improve something else. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we talked about, you know, before we were recording was like just the mindset, like, Everything is, and I do, you know, I do mindset coaching um, for athletes. Uh, I've got like a, a personal, like, I won't say life coaching because I don't do all that shit, but like I, I do, I have coaching clients and, you know, um, I help them with different things. And like the biggest thing for me is mindset. And the, the first thing that, you know, I'm about three, four weeks into my first like, online actual coaching program where I open up to the general public is the first thing we talk about is gratitude. Um, and that's the hardest thing. And I make fun of Christianity a lot because, well, it's Christianity and they fucking do stupid shit constantly. But that's anybody. Um, but the one thing that, especially the fucking Southern Baptists, which the reason I can't hunt on Sunday or drink uh, early on Sunday, is um, like no matter how bad life gets, like you, your fucking mom gets cancer, your dad gets run over by a bus, your aunt has, you know, fucking gallstones and you just lost your fucking leg. And now you're, you're probably gonna be a, a paraplegic. You're like, well, at, you know, this just gives me an opportunity to do this. Right. I'm like, what? And when I was young, what the fuck is wrong with you people? God hates you. And, you know, and, and it's, to me, it's not a religious thing. I'm like, Oh, that's an interesting mindset. Like, when I tore that pack, I talked to my coach. I said, yeah, man, I'm going to focus on the gym for right now. So I was grateful. I'm like, hey, listen, I, I can turn this into a positive. you know. And that's the biggest thing is, is having that mindset. So with that injury, anytime I have an injury, oh, cool, I can work on something else. Or, hey, cool, I can do this. Um, you know, it, it's, it's one of those really awesome opportunities if you let it. Or you can bitch, oh, poor me. I, 
being a fucking victim is the worst thing you can be up to me. I fucking can't handle those people. I, f- I forget which strong man it was, but he, he, he tore like his bicep doing like in some competition and he st- he like finished the competition. He tore it like entirely off the bone and he still, he did like the next event and he was like the, the only, th- and they said his elbow was like so destabilized. They're like, there was literally like a possibility of him like pulling his elbow out of socket when he was doing like the deadlift event, but he did it anyway. And then he, like, all he wanted to know is like, well, how long is it going to take me to rehab this? after I get surgery, yeah. right? And I think that's the mindset yeah. of like a competitor versus the mindset of someone who's just going to give up. Yeah, that's like, you know, when I was younger, I was like, man, I watched um, Murder Ball, uh, wheelchair rugby for the politically correct. Okay. And I was like, dude, if I was in a car accident, I became like a quadriplegic tomorrow. I'm like, I don't know if I'd fucking kill myself or be the most badass quadriplegic ever. And I realized I knew the answer right? after I said it out loud. I'm, oh, yeah, I would be the most badass fucking wheelchair badass in the world. But, like, that's just the mentality. Like, you know, you can be you can be a victim to your circumstances or you can be like, oh, this is cool. This is an opportunity. 